turning to the weather now. You know, being from Texas, we're used to the heat in the summertime, mm -hmm. but it's really when you add in the humidity, and we've got such high humidity humidity levels right now that it just makes it so much worse. And we're, you know, we're trying to contend with that energy consumption as well. Uh, we're hearing from ERCOT that, you know, the energy levels are rising. So I know we want to work with, you know, maybe setting the thermostat a little bit higher, not using as much energy, but this is very dangerous heat and you have to make sure you're listening to your body. If you're starting to feel maybe a little bit of a headache coming on, uh, that's a good indication indication that you're likely too warm. We've got temperatures right now that don't look terrible. In fact, 85 in McKinney, 85 in Dallas, we'd love that for June, right? But as Karen mentioned, the humidity is very high. We already have several spots feeling like the triple digits. 106 right now for Bonham and Hillsboro. It feels like 100 in Fort Worth, feels like 102 in Denton, and then McKinney feeling like 95. The temperature is 10 degrees cooler than that, but the feels like temperature up to 95. And we are expecting that feels like temperature to be in the triple digits into this afternoon. I mean, you see lunchtime, we've got low 90s. We're already starting to see the cloud cover that we had this morning sort of uh, moving out of here, fizzling out. So one o'clock, you've got a lot of sunshine, temperatures at 94. It feels like 110. And then 95 by two o'clock, feeling like 111. We're forecasting a high in the triple digits this afternoon. We just missed it at DFW yesterday, only topped out at 99, but it did feel like 115 at times. And then you look at the feel like temperature for this afternoon, the peak heating time frame, really kind of that 3, 4, 5 p.m. Uh, hour, stretch of hours. 116 in Mineral Wells, 115 in Fort Worth, 112 in Dallas, 114 in Waxahachie, uh, 106 in McKinney. This is very oppressive, very dangerous heat. So it makes sense. We've got this excessive heat warning for all of the area. This is going to continue through Wednesday for most. The one exception is as we get into tomorrow, you see some of our Red River counties and a couple of counties to the east, they transition to a heat advisory. That means the feels like temperatures could be 105 to 110 degrees as compared to the 110 to 120 for the feels like temperatures under the excessive heat warning. This is just being very specific with the criteria for a heat advisory and an excessive heat warning. What I want you to take away from this is that you have to limit your time outdoors in the afternoon hours, especially. Uh, the severe threat for today, you see maybe a couple of stronger storms to the east, not really expecting much as we go into this afternoon. We had a little bit of shower activity to the south, uh, and then as we get into that evening time frame, you're not seeing much showing up. So the rain chances over the next couple of days are very minimal. That coverage at 20% tomorrow and Thursday, maybe a few more showers and storms in the overnight hours. Once we get to Thursday and Friday, you see the heat break a little bit, 94 to 95. We may still meet heat advisory criteria, but I think the excessive heat warning will be done tomorrow afternoon, Karen. We may need it again as we get into Sunday and Monday, though. Sunday, forecasting a high of 103. Oh, all right. Just a beastly few days. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Erin.